Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to be reading a story called Growing Vegetable Soup. And now the reason we're reading this story is because today we're starting a new theme called Nature All Around Us. And vegetables are a part of nature. You'll see why. The author or the person who wrote the words in the story is Lois Ellert. And guess what? Lois Ellert also drew the pictures. So that means he's the illustrator. Now let's find out what happens. Dad says we are going to grow vegetable soup. Hmm, wonder how that's gonna happen. Ah. We are ready to work and our tools are ready too. This is a rake, a shovel, and a hoe. Let's see what they're gonna use these tools for. We are planting the seeds. Ah, planting. We're using gloves to dig in the dirt. Make little holes for beans, peas, corn, zucchini squash, and these tiny, 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 tiny ones are carrot seeds. And all the sprouts. So sometimes instead of growing from seeds, people will plant sprouts. Those are just seeds that were already grown a little bit. So this one right here is a tomato sprout. This one is a broccoli sprout. That doesn't really look like broccoli yet. A pepper sprout and a cabbage sprout. I'm giving them water. Why do you think they need water? Because they drink the water and that helps them grow. Just like we use water to keep us hydrated. So do plants. Plants do the same thing. And waiting for warm sun to make them grow. Look at how tiny they are right now. Do you think that's how they're going to stay? Let's find out. And grow. Oh, they look a little bit bigger, but do they still look like vegetables? Nope, not yet. And grow into plants. Got a zucchini squash. These little round things are peas. And here is another type of squash. It's a squash blossom. This will turn into a zucchini. We watch over them and weed. If any of you have ever planted before or worked in a garden with moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, with anybody, you probably had to weed. That means to take out all the tiny little plants that don't belong in the garden. Otherwise, they take away the water and all the good nutrients and vitamins from the soil. That's not good for the plants. Until the vegetables are ready for us to pick. Now that looks like corn, peppers, and tomatoes. So now they're ready for them to be picked. Or dig up. Some plants don't grow on little bushes like tomatoes do. Some of them, some vegetables grow underground like carrots and potatoes. So you have to dig them up and carry them home. Then we wash them. Your garden isn't inside your house. So once they're ready for you to pick, you pick them and bring them inside. And cut them and put them in a pot of water. So after they wash them, they're all nice and cut and getting ready to be placed in the pot. And cook them into vegetable soup. Mmm. This is some broccoli. This is probably corn. I mean, carrots, not corn, carrots. 
Uh, these look like peppers. And maybe these are tomatoes. At last, it's time to eat it all up. It was the best soup ever. And we can grow it again next year. The end. Now I have an activity that I want you guys to do with me. I send this picture to mommies and daddies so that they can print it out. If they weren't able to print it out, it's okay. You can use a blank piece of paper with a circle on it. So what this is, this is my pretend bowl. We are going to make vegetable soup. And guess what? Because this is your vegetable soup, you get to decide what is gonna go in it. All right. I decided that I want to add some tomatoes to my vegetable soup. So I'm going to pretend that I cut my tomatoes into little round slices. See, I'm gonna add some more. Now let's see, what else do I want in my tomato, in my soup? I've got tomatoes. I love corn. Corn. Corn is yellow. I like corn, so I'll add some corn. Corn pieces are kind of like little squares. They're kind of a round bottom. Okay, now I wanna add carrots. Carrots are orange. And I'm gonna pretend I cut them into little slices, to little sticks. I really like um, carrots, so I'm gonna add a lot of carrots. And maybe I'll add some broccoli. So broccoli is green, I'm gonna add some broccoli. All right, so that's my vegetable soup. Now, what I want you to do is try your best and try to write the, le the first letter of the word for the vegetable that you chose. So I said these round ones are tomatoes. So t -t -t tomatoes. Tomato starts with a t -t -t -t. So I'm gonna put a T right next to my tomato or right on top of my tomato. Now these green ones I said were broccoli. B -b -b broccoli. Broccoli starts with a b -b -b B. So I'm gonna put a B right next to my broccoli. Or right on top, that's fine too. Okay, now I have Corn, I said, was the yellow one, and carrots were the orange ones. So, k -k -k. corn. Now, that's a tricky one because there's two letters that make a k, k k. But I remember from the book that corn k -k -k, and carrot k -k -k, starts with a C. So, I'm going to put a C right next to the carrots and the corn. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is at the top of my paper, I'm going to write my name. So I can't write my name upside down, so I'm gonna write it. Turn my board around. my name on it. 
And if mommies and daddies want to help you, they can write at the bottom. Vegetable soup. So I hope you guys enjoyed your activity and I hope that you enjoyed the story. Okay, see you soon. Bye.